Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to the next of our videos in our series on IGCSE Geography. This is episode 3.5. In today's lesson, we will be learning about energy. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Let's talk about energy. Fossil fuels are non-renewable and will one day run out, so scientists are exploring the potential of renewable sources of energy. Let's find out about changing energy use and alternative energy sources. Firstly, let's distinguish between renewable and non-renewable energy resources. All life on Earth is sustained by energy from the sun. Plants and animals can store energy and some of this energy remains with them when they die. It is the remains of these ancient animals and plants that make up fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable because they will run out one day. Burning fossil fuels generates greenhouse gases and relying on them for energy generation is unsustainable. Hence the need to find more renewable, sustainable ways of generating energy. Renewable or infinite energy resources are sources of power that quickly replenish themselves and can be used again and again. Some resources can be thought of as both renewable and non-renewable. Wood can be used for fuel and is renewable if trees are replanted. Biomass, which is material from living things, can be renewable if plants are replanted. Let's look at different types of energy resources. 1. Coal, a fossil fuel. Formed from fossilized plants and consists of carbon with organic and inorganic compounds. It is mined from seams of coal found between layers of rock in the earth. Coal is a ready-made fuel that is cheap to mine and converts to electricity, it lasts longer than oil or gas. When burned, coal gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. 2. Oil, a fossil fuel. Carbon-based liquid formed from fossilized animals. Lakes of oil are found between seams of rock in the earth. Oil is a ready-made fuel that is cheap to extract and convert into energy. It is used in industry and transport. When burned, oil gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. There is a limited supply of oil. 3. Natural gas, a fossil fuel. Methane and other gases trapped between seams of rock under the earth are released through pipes sunk into the ground. Gas is a ready-made fuel and relatively cheap. It is used in houses for heating and cooking and is a slightly cleaner fuel than coal and oil. When burned, it gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. There is a limited supply of gas. 4. Nuclear. Radioactive minerals such as uranium are mined. Electricity is generated from the energy that is released when atoms from these minerals split. A small amount of radioactive material produces a lot of energy, it's relatively cheap and can last a long time. It doesn't give off pollutants. Nuclear reactors are expensive to run and, and nuclear waste is highly toxic. The leakage of nuclear materials can have a devastating impact on people and the environment. 5. Biomass. It is generated from decaying plant or animal waste or organic material and can be burned to provide energy. It is a cheap and readily available source of energy. If crops are replaced, it can be a long-term, sustainable energy source. When burned, it gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. 6. Wood. Obtained from felling trees, burned to generate heat and light. A cheap and readily available source of energy. If trees are replaced, wood burning can be a long-term sustainable energy source. When burned, it gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. How long will fossil fuels last? Estimates from international organizations suggest that if the world's demand for energy from fossil fuels continues at the present rate that oil and gas reserves may run out within some of our lifetimes. Coal is expected to last longer. When can we expect different fuels to run out? Oil. 50 years. Natural gas. 70 years. Coal. 
250 years. Fossil fuels are non-renewable and will one day run out, so scientists are exploring the potential of renewable sources of energy. Let's find out about changing energy use and alternative energy sources. Renewable energy sources quickly replenish themselves and can be used again and again. For this reason, they are sometimes called infinite energy resources. 1. Solar Energy from sunlight is captured in solar panels and converted into electricity. This is potentially an infinite energy supply and single dwellings can have their own electricity supply. Manufacture and implementation of solar panels can be costly. 2. Wind Wind turbines, modern windmills, turn wind energy into electricity. It can be found singularly, but usually many together in wind farms. The wind is a potentially infinite energy supply. Manufacture and implementation of wind farms can be costly. Some local people object to onshore wind farms, arguing that it spoils the countryside. 3. Tidal The movement of tides drives turbines. A tidal barrage, a kind of dam, is built across estuaries, forcing water through gaps. In the future underwater turbines may be possible out at sea and without dams. This is ideal for an island such as the UK. There is potential to generate a lot of energy. Tidal barrage can double as a bridge and help prevent flooding. Construction of barrage is very costly. Only a few estuaries are suitable. Opposed by some environmental groups as having a negative impact on wildlife. May reduce tidal flow and impede the flow of sewage out to sea. 4. Wave The movement of seawater in and out of a cavity on the shore compresses trapped air, driving a turbine. This is ideal for an island country. It is more likely to be small local operations, rather than done on a national scale. Construction can be costly and it may be opposed by local or environmental groups. 5. Geothermal In volcanic regions, it is possible to use the natural heat of the earth. Cold water is pumped underground and comes out as steam. Steam can be used for heating or to power turbines creating electricity. This is potentially an infinite energy supply. It is used successfully in some countries, such as New Zealand and Iceland. It can be expensive to set up and only works in areas of volcanic activity. The geothermal and volcanic activity might calm down, leaving power stations redundant. Also, dangerous elements found underground must be disposed of carefully. 6. Hydrological or Hydroelectric Power HEP. Energy harnessed from the movement of water through rivers, lakes, and dams. This creates water reserves as well as energy supplies. It is costly to build. It can also cause the flooding of surrounding communities and landscapes. Dams have major ecological impacts on local hydrology. 7. Biomass. It is generated from decaying plant or animal waste or organic material and can be burned to provide energy. It is a cheap and readily available source of energy. If crops are replaced, it can be a long-term, sustainable energy source. When burned, it gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. 8. Wood. Obtained from felling trees, burned to generate heat and light. It is a cheap and readily available source of energy. If trees are replaced, wood burning can be a long-term sustainable energy source. When burned, it gives off atmospheric pollutants, including greenhouse gases. Exam tip time. Make sure you know what types of energy are renewable and non-renewable. It is important to remember that biomass and wood are only renewable if the trees and crops are replanted. Many people fall into the trap of thinking that bio means renewable, it doesn't. Case study of changing energy use, the UK. The UK government wants to reduce its carbon dioxide emissions. It also wants to increase the amount of energy that comes from renewable sources. By 2020 European Union targets state that 20% of energy must come from renewable sources. Each member state of the EU may have a different target, as 20% is an average figure for the EU. But with Brexit let's see what happens. The UK has a target of 15% of its energy consumption being sourced from renewable energy. In 2009 only 3% of energy came from renewable sources in the UK. 
Sweden has a target of nearly 50% whereas Malta has a target of 10%. The EU also aims to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 80 to 95% below 1990 levels by 2050. There are two ways the energy use can change in the UK. Reducing the demand for energy. Increasing the supply of renewable energy. How is the UK reducing energy demand? The demand for energy in the UK varies. This is because of Economic factors, for example during the recession energy demand did not increase as predicted. Seasonal factors, for example, the demand for domestic energy over winter is greater than over the summer. Temporal factors, for example at night there is surplus energy on the national grid because demand is lower. Regulations have forced vehicles to become more energy efficient and give off less atmospheric pollution. The government has also continued to increase fuel on road taxes. Even so, the use of transport is rising so fast that the amount of CO2 given off by transport vehicles continues to rise. There are also incentives to save energy, for example, grants are available to help make a home more energy efficient. How does the UK use renewable power? Firstly, let's look at wind. UK power companies are now investing hundreds of millions of pounds in renewable power. The greatest amount of renewable energy in the UK comes from wind generation. In 2010 the world's largest offshore wind farm was opened in Thanet, on the Thames estuary. Many wind farms have been set up, particularly in Scotland and Wales. However, some plans for large wind farms have been blocked by planners. Next, biomass. Production of energy from biomass is expanding. In 2011 a new biomass energy center was opened in Chilton, Durham. The supply of energy for biomass is more predictable than other forms of renewable energy. However, people are concerned about how sustainable the sourcing of biomass is. Finally, wave and tidal. At present this form of energy has not been used in any sizable way in the UK. Energy from wave and tidal power could be developed more in the future though. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.